introduction. David Stewart is my name. I will be your auctioneer this afternoon. We are assisted by Anthony Bleck, who has been managing the property with Danny over the last uh, three weeks. For those of you who haven't met Anthony, he is the number one agent in the basin on Rate My Agent, I think has been for the last two years, haven't sure. you, Anne? Yep. So if anyone here in the basin today is looking to sell, looking to move on with their life, Anthony's certainly worthwhile having a chat to. We've also got Mosca and Andrew here, and proudly we all represent iTrack Real Estate. A warm welcome on behalf of the vendor to purchase what is a magnificent property here at 7 Government Road here in the basin. The basin has long been one of my favourite suburbs. Um, many, many years ago when I could actually see a cricket ball, I used to play cricket for the basin. I ran a little business many, many years ago down in the village shopping centre in the basin. And uh, for those of you who haven't been to the shopping centre down the road, you've got two beautiful cafes, a fruit and veg shop, bottle shop, um, a, a hairdresser that does my hair magnificently. Um, what else you got? You've got a bakery too, Anth, haven't you? So a fantastic uh, little village community down in the basin. There's some magnificent primary schools in the basin um, down on Mountain Highway. And for those of those of us that grew up in the country as I did, the basin is as close to a country town as you can get, and still have all the fantastic amenities of a magnificent city such as Melbourne and if you think about it for a second you've got the last traffic light on Baronia Road down in Baronia at Dorset Road and you've got the last traffic light on Dorset Road on Mountain Highway on the border of Bayswater and the Basin as well so you can easily get round in the Basin just as if you're getting round in a country town and those of you who are going to be lucky enough to living up in this part of the Basin you will have the magnificent opportunities to spend your next 20 years having breakfast on the deck with the North Sun, 12 months of the year coming on to you, and you will have unimpeded views right out to the north as far as the eye can see. We are on just over 1,300 square metres of land here, ladies and gentlemen, and the vendors have gone to great trouble over the years to create a beautiful flat entry and exit for you. So those of you with boats or caravans, or maybe even a work truck, you're not gonna have any trouble getting in and out of here to access uh, your day at work. Um, the house itself, well, what a beautifully prepared house we have on offer here today. Four bedrooms, plus the, the home work office, if you will, down the bottom here. We've got the master bedroom with magnificent walk-in robes and the beautiful spa, and the view you would get waking up looking straight out the window of the master bedroom is something worth going to bed and waking up to, I can assure you. Not that I've done it, but some lucky person obviously here today is going to get to reward themselves with that for the next 15 or 20 years. And to uh, finish off inside, you've got the pool room downstairs as well for, for teenagers, if you're entertaining guests, etc., etc., you've got plenty of space to do so. Obviously, the sheds to my left here for plenty of storage, etc., etc. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I do have to go through some some uh, some homework here, and I will read the particulars of sale, which read as follows: the Vendor's agent is iTrack Real Estate. We are selling for and on behalf of the property, the lot this lot 286 on plan of subdivision 006712. Volume 04985, Folio 999, and obviously more commonly known to all of us as Seven Government Road here in the Basin. The goods and channels included in today's sale are all fixtures and fittings of a permanent nature as inspected. We are obviously selling by public auction, whereby unless you have a previously arranged agreement with Anthony, a 10% deposit is required at the fall of the hammer today. We can facilitate that if you're doing it by your phone and bank transfers. We can take a $5,000 initial deposit today and you can commit yourself to the balance of 10% on Monday if you need to shuffle some money around in a bank account and that's not a problem. And the vendor is offering an incredible, incredibly flexible 30 to 90 days at the choice of the highest bidder today. You come in and sign a contract and you will have the choice 
of any date, no shorter than 30 days, no longer than 90 days, to take ownership of the house. Now, the rules of today's auction are in accordance with the REIV, of which I track members, and they are as follows. Subject to the vendor's reserve price, the highest bidder whose bid is accepted by the vendor shall be the purchaser. I, as the auctioneer, will determine the minimum in which the bidding shall be advanced and no bid once made shall be retracted. If any dispute arises during the bidding, I, as the auctioneer, will determine the dispute or resubmit the property to you all at its last undisputed bid for your continued bidding from that moment in time. The vendor reserves the right to bid once or more by their auctioneer to refuse any bid or to withdraw the property at any time without necessarily declaring the reserve price. I will indicate bids on request. Once you've started the bidding process with me, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm calling out the next figure and you want to go to that figure, just a raise of your hand is all I need. You are welcome to shout it out if you want to play the intimidation game. But once you've started the bidding, a raise of your raise or not is all I need from that moment. But if you start bidding at any stage, I would request that you shout your first bid out. If you're a little bit intimidated to do so, we have several staff members here that would be more than happy to help you out during that process. The law prohibits the making of false bids um, and it does provide major fines for anyone attempting others from bidding. The law prohibits the making of vendor bids other than my, by myself as the auctioneer. Ladies and gentlemen, a vendor bid is nothing more and nothing less than a counter offer made by myself on behalf of the vendor if it's required to simply suggest that the property will not be sold at that or a lower figure and ask for your continued bidding from that moment in time. And as I've just said, the words I will use during the auction to indicate that I'm making a vendor bid will be very clear and transparent, vendor bid with the nominated figure from that point. There is one other um, announcement that I do need to make. We have Gavel Live Auctions uh, filming the auction today and people in this day and age can now register to bid online. We have a formal registrated bidder today. If that person bids, James from uh, Gavel will be shouting out the bid. So count that as a legally registered bid as any other normal bid from any one of you being here today as well. So that concludes the, uh, the rules of the auction, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get going, there's always three parts, uh, possibilities of every auction. First of all, we can sell the property under the hammer if we've reached the reserve price, as I believe we should do today. And on a first, second and third call, once we've passed the reserve price, we are selling to the highest bidder from that moment in time. It's if we don't quite reach the vendor's reserve price that every bidder needs to understand exactly what their rights are and what the vendor's rights are. The auctioneer has two choices. The auctioneer can pass the property into the highest bidder. From that moment in time, if we've passed the property into the highest bidder, that person has the exclusive right to entertain the vendor at their reserve price at the exclusion of all other interested parties. So if we take a person in and pass the property into that person, you can pretty well take it to the bank that there's a 95% chance that there's going to be a sold sign on the board within 15 or 20 minutes from that process starting. If I take a vendor bid above the highest bidder and there are no further bids from that moment in time, we will pass the property in on a vendor bid. And from that moment in time, Anthony, Danielle, Andrew and Mosca can negotiate with any buyer here in a blindfolded situation and it's the worst way to buy property, I can assure you. A couple of weeks ago, we, we sold a property in Mount Evelyn. We had three or four very keen bidders there. They all thought they were in the box seat to buy the home, so they all thought it was in their best interest to keep their silence. We were very happy to pass it in on a vendor bid that would allow attraction afterwards, and the auction was created after the auction, but in a blindfolded scenario, and buyers went home disappointed because they'd lost control of their destiny. So, ladies and gentlemen, before I officially hand it across to you, I would urge you to put your own destiny in your own hands today. You certainly won't be disappointed 
securing a magnificent home such as this and enjoying this lovely house, the beautiful deck and the views for the next 20 years. So I do wish you all the very best. We know we've got several interested parties. Unfortunately, only one of you can buy it. I know the person who does buy it today will be very satisfied with their purchase. So, 50 Dave. I didn't even get this. $650,000. Welcome to the bidding, sir. We'll get it on the way. That's $650,000, and I'll ask for a rise of $10,000. That's $650,000. Could be a very quick auction. That's $650,000. First call at $650,000. Second call at $650,000. Third, final call. Are we all done? Finished and silent at 650 dollars Sorry, Andy. That's 660. Can I see you back in at 70, sir? Can you hit me right back in, Andy, at 680? I've got 670 now. That's 600, and that's 680, and not'll do. At 690, we go. That's 690, clearly, bid I've got. 700. 700. Welcome to the bidding to you, ma'am, and all the very best to you as well. That's $700,000. 710, is that, sir? I've got 710 here. I saw it first. That's 710. Can I say 20? That's $710,000, clearly, bid. First call at 710,000. Second call at 710,000. Come with me for 10. I think we'll get there anyway. Or do you want to say 20 and go right on top of them, sir? Thank you. The 20's there now. You've got to go hard. You've got to go hard to buy real estate, ladies and gentlemen. That's $720,000. How about 30? That's $720,000. We're clearly bid. Come with me. Yep. Yep. Got to go hard, folks. That's 730, you're just helping your opposition. That's $730,000, clearly bid we've got. That's $730,000, where do we go from here? That's $730,000, first call at 730. 750, that's a great bid. That's $750,000, good bidding, is that another 10, sir? That's $760,000 we've got now. That's $760,000, clearly bid we've got. I'll tell you what, I'll take your five now. I'll take your five now and, uh, and offer the same courtesy to everyone else here. That's $765,000, we're clearly bid. That's 765, can I say 70 now? Welcome back, sir. That's $770,000 we have. That's 775. Thank you, welcome back at 775, clearly we've got. That's $775,000, it looks like a game of two, but anyone up the back can join us as well. That's 775, can I say 80 now I do. That's $780,000, clearly bid. That's $780,000 we've got. Thank you Andy, at 785, shall I say 90 sir. That's $785,000. That's $785,000, it looks like you're wearing him out. That's $785,000 for the first call. That's $785,000 for the second call. Half. Tell you what, sir, you've been with me from the start. I will offer you two and a half. I'm assuming it was two yeah. and a half. At 787 and a half, and the same courtesy to everyone else. 790 now we've got. At 790 we've Sorry, clear. I don't want to interrupt, but we're selling, David. So well, they're you, playing for keeps. Well, well you did market. interrupt, but I'm it's sorry. a good interruption I'm sorry. to have Anthony. At $790,000. We're on the market, folks. Make no mistake about that. You all heard Anthony. There's a sold sign going on the board very soon. That's $790,000. Confirm your bid over there, please. Thank you very much. I'll take 1,000 if it helps. I'll take knockout bids of 10 or 20 also. 91, that, Dave. At 91 now, thank you. At 91. Thank you. At 792, Moscow. At 792. Was that a nod, sir? Yep. 793, we've got. 794, back to you. Can I say 95, sir? That's $794,000. You've got your nose in front, and that's the place to be to be experiencing these magnificent views for the next 20 years. That's $794,000. It's now or never, ladies and gentlemen. That's $794,000. Can I encourage you all to eat a little bit more out to enjoy what's on offer here today? That's $794,000. How are we going, Danny? We are definitely selling. I need an answer, Danny. Okay, so we need an answer, Wayne. We've got top 
I need an answer. Are you definitely out, sir? You're out. All done. Thank you very much, sir. No late bids allowed in the state of Victoria, ladies and gentlemen. At no, no late bids at all. Thank you very much and thank you very much. I think we've found our new owners, ladies and gentlemen. That's seven hundred and ninety-four thousand dollars. I will four count. And yeah. Yeah. Four and a half. Seven nine four and a half, David. Seven nine five. Seven nine five. <laughs> seven nine Sorry, five we've got. That. That's seven hundred and ninety-five. That's seven hundred and ninety-five thousand. We can't take late bids, ladies and gentlemen. First call at 795. We're definitely selling, make no mistake. Second call at $795,000. 795, 100, Dave. 100. 795, 150. 795, 150. It's the way to bid, sir, at the pointy end. 795, 150. 795150 we have. You definitely out, sir. Thank you very much. First call at 795150. <laughs> Second call, we're definitely selling. Third, final call at 795, 150 dollars. We are selling. We are selling. We're sold. Congratulations, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for attending another successful eye track auction. Have a fantastic weekend, and we look forward to seeing you soon.